It's 6.30 in the morning, still dark, and I'm meeting Paul Godby of Goatee Tracking for a day out with the side-loading container trailer. They're relatively rare in the UK, but give lots of container users the benefit of getting the boxes on ground level without too much fuss. So this is Paul Godby. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. So tell me where we're going today. Uh, first port of call is Little Tay to a, a dealer. Deals in port cabins and these containers. We've got four of these 20 foots. Obviously not on this uh, vehicle. I meet the other truck there. He's already hit off. Um, lift those off with a side lifter. Put them on the floor for the customer. And then we make our way over to probably a cafe actually for a spot of breakfast. Hey. Uh, and then leaves the studios for ideally for 12. We've been asked. Uh, where they keep altering the, uh, the arrival time, but there's two containers, we dropped the empties off there Monday uh, for them to load film sets, which apparently got to Cape Town, but we're picking the two loaded 40s up with the side of three again, and, uh, and then we're going to take over London Gateway, so it's a nice sedate day really, I can, I can almost hear the chunder and the, uh, from the other wagon drivers, there they are. You've been in business now for how long? Goatee Trucking, we started, it was uh, started trade in April 09. Yeah. So seven and a half, something like that, years now. And, and from your point of view, it must have obviously paid because you'll get going. It pays at times and it, it'll, uh, it'll beg you at times. Yeah. The, um, it is a very volatile industry. Um, I work differently to a lot of owner drivers in that we source the work directly or try to to get the first bite of cherry on the rate. Right. But when you can be busy as hell one you know one week and you can be scratching about the next, you know. So it, it does help to have a, a, a little big list of contacts to sort of ring up and try and fill the blanks, you know. What actually made you start off in the first place? What actually you said what actually made you say, Bugger it, I'm gonna do it for myself? Childhood ambition. Right. Grew up in the industry, dad and family and uncles, you know, they're all drivers. Um, yeah, bumped to the head when I was a child, I suppose. I don't know, it's, it's without sounding cliche, it is in the blood, it is yeah. in the blood, as I say. Um, and while it can be an absolute pain in the backside at times, um, I still love the job. You know, even, you know, we're, we're driving down here now in thick traffic, and I'd rather be in bed if I'm honest, but. I know we've got a, a fairly enjoyable day ahead. We're working with the other truck, with my esteemed colleague Darren on there, I've known a long time. Um, and it'll be a giggle, you know. When you look at how things have changed, I guess the, the thing that's changed the most over your time as a driver, and that's over your time of running a business, is that every year, it seems, regulation gets tougher and tougher. Yeah, yeah. It, the economy gets worse, the regulation gets tighter. And again, that sounds cliche, but it's true. It's getting harder all the time. Uh, customers from when we started, I, I wouldn't like to give you a, a sort of a ratio, but a lot of them aren't there anymore. You know, where you're constantly trying to um, find or please new potential customers. But we've got a good core of, of, of regular uh, customers, and, and it all tends to be first name terms, you know. In part two of this driver's day, we'll get a proper look at side loading, working with the side loading trailer itself and using it to unload a standard skeletal container trailer. So we'll see you soon on Trucking TV.